choose to go to the moon. Lift off on Apollo 11. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm David Curley. As we mark the 50th anniversary of the landing on the moon, we have a liftoff. The story of the space race, a competition between the U.S. and the Soviets going on even as Apollo 11 astronauts were on the lunar surface. The story told by the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong, who, like other Americans, had watched the Soviets' early successes, the first humans to orbit, preceded by the first satellite in space. But it shocked the American public. We believed we were the most technologically advanced community in the world, and how could this have happened? We choose to go to the moon. And While President Kennedy challenged the U.S. to put a man on the moon in less than a decade, the Soviets did not give up. They attempted to beat the Americans and bring back soil from the moon in an unmanned probe, Luna 15. This footage from the Soviet film, The Moon Highway, of the follow-on version, Luna 16. Just three days before they lifted off, Armstrong and his crew in final preparations for their mission, the Soviets launch. The Soviets launched Luna 15. It had no human crew aboard, but its secret mission was to land on the lunar surface, collect some soil samples, rocket them back to Earth, and claim a Soviet victory. First chunks of the moon returned to the Earth by humans. Three days later, Apollo 11 departed Kennedy Space Center. The crew did not know about Luna 15 or its goal. Mission Control informed the crew of the existence of the Soviet craft while they were en route to the moon. So when Apollo 11 arrives in lunar orbit, Luna 15, the Soviet craft, is already there, orbiting as well. Which country will get to the surface first and return lunar soil to Earth? But the Soviets are having trouble. Jules? One sure indication that the Russians have had trouble is that there's been no word whatsoever from Moscow on Luna 15 in the last three or four hours. Armstrong and Aldrin land. They start their moonwalk and sample collection. Just two hours before the Americans are to lift off from the surface, the Soviets try to land Luna 15. But four minutes into that effort, Luna 15 stops communicating. Luna 15 apparently plunged to the surface of the moon at such high speed it likely severely damaged itself. It crashed, most likely onto a moon mountain, more than 500 miles from the U.S. lander. Failure for the Soviets as Apollo 11 returns to orbit and then brings those first samples back from the moon to Earth. The space race fades. It was the ultimate peaceful competition. I'll not assert that uh, it was a diversion which prevented a war. Nevertheless, it was a diversion. The Eagle has landed. It was intense and it did allow to both sides to take the high road with the objectives of science and learning and exploration. Eventually, it provided a mechanism for engendering cooperation between former adversaries. In that sense, among others, it was an exceptional national investment for both sides. I'm David Curley.